That's a proper way to do it. That's how it has to be done. But the problem is that we, through the education system and the American Bar Association, they have dumbed the American people down. And I'm just trying to be nice about it. But they actually dumbed us down. And, and it, it, I might, even including myself. Because I trusted these people. At one point in my life, I trusted that I thought they were looking out for my best interest. And at the end of the day, they were not. All they cared about was their paycheck and who they represent and the corporations that are behind them giving them donations. Because I'll tell you one thing, Ted Ferrioli received $200 from the Hammonds, which I have. And, it, and, it, and, it's in, and it's in the campaign contributions list. Did Ted Ferrioli go help the Hammonds out? No. Who was he looking for? The best interest of the corporations. Like Mount Hair Timber. Wasn't he a CEO or a director at one point in Mount Hair Timber? Isn't he getting donations from Mount Hair Timber? So is he going to honestly look for the best interest of the Hammonds? So uh, it, it's sad. It's sad, but they, they sold you guys out. And I didn't say it, it reflects right there. Matter of fact, uh, Kate, Kate Brown. Kate Brown's another crook because she was part of the 2007 uh, the Measurement 37. There are company contributions right there, including uh, uh, D.A. Allen from... Rosemont? Correct. And on top of it, Ted Ferrioli, Jeff Berkeley, they, they donated to each other. Kate Brown and, and Allen donated to each other. Cliff Benz and Ted Ferrioli donated to each other. It's crazy. 500 bucks a piece, or 500 here, 500 there. At the end of the day, when you want to bring your criminal complaint against any of these co-conspirators, are they going to honestly investigate? When they're each, each other, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, providing campaign contributions to each other? I didn't say it. The reports say it. It's what I downloaded under the Freedom, you know, it's under the Freedom of Information Act. You go there, you can look at the campaign contributions. Everything that you see highlighted in the campaign contributions, I guarantee you'll see on there. And then you get looking at uh, the way that some of this other stuff's going on, you know, behind the scenes, and then you go, man, no wonder it's the way it is. You know, when our clip, when Cliff Vince and Greg Walden are doing, you know, all this stuff behind the scenes, you know, and I wondered why they didn't get, you know, <clears throat> I thought it was kind of strange that during through that whole thing there that we didn't see any action out of it. You know, we had to see a Nevada State Assembly woman come up. You know, her and uh, who was the other gal? Uh, Michelle Fiore. Fiore. Who was the other? other uh, I'm not sure. Shelly. Shelly, yeah, Shelly. And, uh, you mean Matt, or Matt Shea? Yeah. But I mean, to come up and defuse, you know, take care of that situation and nothing out of our... And the reason why is because Les Zates, Scott O'Callister, Lyndon Zates, they change the narrative. They run the Oregonian, in the Mount Here Enterprise, Blue Mountain Eagle. So if you can control the narrative, you can control the media, you can control the people. And, and, through, and, through, and through false reporting is what they did. And just look at Zates' finances and how he's in bed with all these corporations. Well, then, Andy Benz, isn't he... Uh, aren't they invested in the same thing? Uh, Andy, uh, which is called uh, Ben Solution LLC, and also he's behind uh, the Maui, Maui? Maui. Oh, Oh, Oahe. So he's behind it, and that's what I was going to say. That there's, there's actually, it's funny. You have Cliff Benz over here, and you have Andy Benz to the right. Let's say a Republican and Democrat. We all know that, that Andy Benz has always been a Democrat, all of a sudden wants to become a Republican. And now he wants to stir up and have all the militia members that come and, and help him out. What's the purpose of that? His whole entire career, political career, was always being a Democrat. Now he goes to the Republican side and calls out for the militia to come and help him out. I can tell you one thing. I guarantee he's trying to draw all the patriots into this, into this uh, monument to identify them and then incarcerate him, and then go to his brother and say, look what we did, and start laughing to the bank at, the ex at your expense. And the only way it's going to happen, it can be prevented, is by having a constitutional sheriff and saying, we ain't going to tolerate this, and we're going to hold you accountable. Yes, absolutely. Is the lady in the back? Okay, so this I'm really interested in. This, this is where my confusion starts. 
Okay, I just received a letter because my, my family has had a cabin, a little <coughs> vacation little cabin out on the Hawaii Reservoir on the Dry Creek Arm for 47 years. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing the research you're asking and I'm finding all this corruption. And then the other day I get a letter from the Hawaii Basin Stewardship <coughs> Coalition. And they are asking my community and our communities, maybe somebody else got one, I don't know, if, I think we got it because we have the cap. It's a, we, a lease through the BLM. On it it says, if you are prepared to get involved and have your voice heard, make checks payable to OBSC and return them with the donor support card and the provided envelope. So I have been nagging my community only for four months, I should have been doing it for a lot longer than that, to stop, help me stop this monument, help me figure out how to do this. And I was trying, I was researching coordination, not coalition. So signed where they're asking for $500,000 is what they would like to get to help stop this. And undersigned is Secretary Andy Benz, Linda Benz. Say, file you sent us. Um, you know, and all of the, the attorneys, the attorney, um, the attorney, vice chair, anyway, I have copies of it. But so then I'm opening it and I'm going, just a minute, I thought that Andy wants the proposal to go through. Now he wants $500,000 to help me stop it. So which is it? And this is and this is how they infiltrate, and this is how they play both sides, which is at, at your expense. Because at the end of the day, you write the check. At the end of the day, you pay their salary through taxation. And at the end of the day, they use the BLM Department of Fish and Wildlife and the U.S. Forestry to take your land. They're playing all all sides. We need to recall that guy. Yes, uh, yes, sir. I, I was. I can give you some insight to that. That was. Um, been a month ago or something like that, and Cliff Bentz came here to our Cattlemen's Association in Baker County, and what that coalition was formed, they that group of people hired what's called the Gallatin Group to form that coalition, to and to um, like to be lobbyists, basically like hiring an attorney. Well, if you've ever hired an attorney, the one person always wins is the attorney. <laughs> And Cliff stressed over and over, you know, coordination, all that isn't going to work. What The only thing that's going to save us is us sending that Gallatin group lots and lots and lots of money. And then I find out what you did, that his brother is part of it. Now, Andy Benz. Yeah, so no matter which way you go, it's like the guys, we're doing this in the beef business, is... To protect yourself from losing money on the market, you buy futures. So if you lose money in the market, you make it in the yeah. on the futures board or vice versa. So that you, no matter what happens, bences are going to make money. They're going to make money. As a matter of fact, I, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to deviate from these documents, but now that we're on this. <laughs> Mike? Yes. John Poops. John Poops. Poops. H O O P S. And you're running for sheriff of Baker County. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, Ben Solution LLC. Right here. And this is where the criminality comes to them. This is a corporation that uses a front. I, I, I beg you guys if when you do decide to go ahead and create your 25 common law grand jurist and your 10 alternates and it's all registered and done correctly and you have your constitutional ship behind you, go after this company and start auditing them. What I mean by auditing, auditing every document, including everything that Cliff Benz passed, legislative bills, to benefit this corporation, family corporation right here. All right, I didn't create this, they created it. They created it under your nose so they can go ahead and steal you guys, defraud you guys. This, Is there a donation list? <coughs> I downloaded them and went one by one. <coughs> You'll be amazed how Ted Ferrioli and him are in cahoots uh, donating to each other and other corporations. And also using Les Zates, <coughs> Down Here Enterprise, uh, uh, Blue, uh, Blue Mountain Eagle, and uh, 
in the Oregonian. Campaign contributions to everything, even corporations and individuals. Download this. I, I, I can, you can bring me a thumb drive, you will have this document. You will have everything in this table. This is what they have, and you guys can go ahead and dissect this. And you would not believe on how they're de defrauding you guys. And like the gentleman said, they're playing both sides. And they're going to come out and win. They're playing both sides. They see Andy ben, Cliff Benz sends Andy Benz, Andy Benz sends Cliff Benz, talking behind closed doors while we kill each other. That's something I, I didn't tell you if it worked or not. The cattlemen are there. They're worried sick. They want to do everything they can to help their neighbors in Mount Here County. They voted. They had some money in their account from fundraisers for the last 10 years. And they unanimously decided to send $10,000 down there to help oh, Andy Benz. Oh, oh. I'm not a voting member. I just sat there counting them out. But, you know, what's happening here today is an education for you guys to spread this message. Absolutely. It starts here today with you guys. And it has to go all the way down, trickle down all the way down to the capital and to the city of Portland. Because, again, if it's going to happen to the Hammonds, and it's happening to a lot of people around. Well, it's not going to happen to you tomorrow. Yes, yes sir. Two questions. First one, uh, you're taking a video. How do we get a, uh, a hold of this? Uh, they, will, they will provide that with a hyperlink. And it will, it will go to, uh, we can get a list going. Yeah. Give us your email. And we can send it to you as soon as it gets done, it's uploaded. Okay. And, yes, sir. Second question on, uh, on the Hammonds. Um, it's my understanding that when they were confronted, ambushed uh, by the feds and the state police, uh, at that point in time, they, there had been no criminal charges filed against them. And uh, I just want to find out if, if that's correct or not, if you happen to know. Uh, and the reason I asked is because it's my understanding that after uh, they arrested uh, the participants at that ambush, um, that they held them uh, at the side of the highway for several hours awaiting the federal warrants to, to be uh, presented. Right. right. And, and what were the federal warrants? What, what were the federal warrants about? Are you talking about the boy panic yeah. 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 He's the bundies. The bundies. Yeah. Yeah. The bundies. Yeah. The ambush. I'm talking the ambush. about the ambush. The boy. The they yeah. had the guys all sitting, and Shauna and Victoria sitting yeah. outside the road. I yeah. just want him to be clear. I'm yeah. Sorry. About yeah. Yeah. At that particular time, there was no charges. Uh, basically, what they wanted to do is they wanted to stop the information flow because uh, LeBoy Finnecum knew, knew exactly what we know, and he was stopped for that particular reason. And guess who wrote, who, who, guess who wrote, uh, deviated the narrative? Anybody can guess? Yeah. Les Zates. And make sure, and try to and try to make sure Palmer that he was in it, that he was put behind us in cahoots. And he wasn't even there. When you guys form your common law grand jury, and when you do. Go after also Les Zates. Oh, yeah. Go after his go, go audit audit all his financial records. Go to the county recorders. Get all everything that he purchased from every county, including his wife and his brother Lyndon Johnson, the whole damn family. You audit them, and you're gonna see how they he he orchestrated the fairgrounds. He he stepped in, came back, stepped, came back into the fairgrounds. Another committee and uh, another geological committees that I have uh, and back in 2004 because he was helping writing these bills at the same time he was a reporter huge conflict of interest at the same time getting property from the BLM isn't that convenient so when you guys do that and when and when you do that this is what you guys need to do go to the county recorder's office get everything in that county recorder's office if I was to live here and I was an Oregonian that would be the first damn thing I would do today go into that county recorder's office and get it then go ahead and subpoena him to all his financial records. And then all the criminals that he participated with, where, he, where they created all these laws, unconstitutional laws, how he benefited. That's called co-conspirator. Or a conspiracy. Because it takes two or more individuals to conspire to commit crime. 